Mercado, and she's in favor of stem cell research. So, Monica, what do you think about embryonic stem cell research? Well, I think that um, it's good because we can give a person uh, like a second chance of life by using the umbilical cord of an embryo. And do you think states should pass laws to permit human embryonic stem cell research? Uh, yes, I believe so because the government should give like. Um, a chance for people in need, for example, like the people that have diabetes diseases um, or like Alzheimer's and those type of diseases. And do you think stem cell research is ethical? Um, yes, I do think so because we, we do help save somebody's life. And do you believe embryonic stem cells will increase the use of abortion? No, I believe that no matter what, no matter what we do, like um, abortion will, will always have like a like the same number, uh, whether we like the same number of abortions, whether we do like this what is it, this stem cell research? Okay, and. Last question, do you think we should just leave it alone and let it be? Uh, well, mm, we shouldn't leave it alone. Uh, I believe if we have the knowledge to help other people, like we should put it in, in practice and we'll not just like let it be. Okay, thank you for your time. Hi, we're interviewing Martin Coahubia, and he's against stem cell research. So, what do you think about embryonic stem cell research? I think it's bad because you are taking somebody's life, even though, let's say, somebody decided to abort. I think, first of all, we should stop all type of abortion, and um, basically, that's that's it. Okay, and do you think? States should pass laws to permit human embryonic stem cell research? No, um, because everything that they would be doing is just being against, I mean, in favor of abortion. Like I told you, I think it's, it's killing uh, living beings. Do you think abortion is killing a baby? Yes, yes, it, it is killing a baby. Basically, you are going in favor of killing a baby. And do you think stem cell research is ethical? I don't, not whatsoever. Like I told you, it's it's killing somebody that's already living in, in somebody, um, and that baby is just trying to become a somebody that is ready to come into this world. So have you given have you given it a thought a thought that you're saving another person's life when you use the the baby as a source? Yeah, but is it really is it really worth somebody else? Killing somebody to save somebody else's life? I don't think so. I think we should just let it be. Um, and if, if it's the time for the baby that, whether it's going to die or not, well then I, I guess. So we, you think we should just leave it alone and we let it be? We should just leave it alone and let it be. I mean, we're, we're no one to decide who gets to live and who gets and who doesn't. And do you believe embryonic stem cells will increase the use of abortion? Yeah, basically, because you could you could tell somebody that's getting ready to abort, you're gonna be able to save somebody's life, and they're just gonna be more in favor of aborting the kid. And like I told you, no one is able to decide whether who lives or who doesn't. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with my interviewer, 
Raúl Flores, Raúl. and I'm gonna interview him about global warming. So Raúl, um, this topic about global warming, do you think it's actually happening or is it just like scientists making it up and stuff? Nah, I really believe it's happening. Uh, there's a lot of concerns about people, you know, the, the question, the main question there is it really happen? I believe it is, in my opinion. Oh. Do you think people are, are doing anything to stop this or not? Yeah, I believe people really are. Like they're trying, they're doing little about it, but they are. They're helping with the recycling, you know, trying to keep the, the earth greener. Oh. Do you think global warming is actually like causing natural disasters like hurricanes and earthquakes and all of that? Yeah, I believe it really is. Do you think, do you think like, here in El Paso, do you think climate changes are happening, or is it still the same? Uh, I think it's the same. It's the same. El Paso has crazy weather now. No big difference? I, th I think it's the same. Oh. Well, if you had the power, like the government, would you do something to stop global warming? I would. Like, if I had the power, I would, if I was, like, Superman or something. But, you know, since I'm not, I really don't give up. But, you know. It is what it is. Thank you very much. This is our interview. Are you in favor or against global warming? I'm against global warming because it's destroying our planet. Do you believe global warming is our fault? Yes, I believe it's our fault because we're the we're the ones that live in it and we're not taking care of it. Um, what would you do to prevent this from happening? I will get a better recycling program. Maybe people should buy some electric cars. How would how do you think this would affect us in the long term context? It's already affecting us because there's occurring a lot of natural disasters and the iceberg is melting, so thank you. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.